Hi there, it's Brooke, and today I have a Halloween decor haul with you. And as I told you, I got my candy cane headband on. You're gonna see this throughout the Halloween season. I got one of my Halloween shirts on, and I'm just hitting you with videos this week because I have some that I wanted to post on special days, so we're just rolling with it. So I thought I would share the slightly small, we'll say medium-sized haul with you. I got all sorts of places here, Target, Kirkland's, Michael's, Etsy shop, and a Dollar Tree and an Amazon. So, let's get to the haul. First, I'm going to start with Target because that is the largest one. Now, I bought some of this thinking of the mantle and different places. And then, so we'll just see what I all use. But these are kind of what I got to have on hand in case I want to use some stuff. So... Here is the first one. I did pick up these paper witch hats from the dollar spot that they're hanging down. And I thought about maybe hanging them from the ceiling above the mantle. So we'll see how that goes. I also picked up just one bird this year. I haven't picked up a bird in forever for Halloween. And I just couldn't resist this little guy. He has two friends, but they had some pink on it. And I didn't want the hot pink in my decor. So I just went with this orange. And green one and then they do have the traditional like witch looking ones and stuff too and then I got two of these light up pumpkins from the Target dollar spot they finally got these in our store did have the boo one too but I didn't see the like the black one with the bats but I like these the best the husband already said oh those can go in my office so He's funny. I guess I'm going to decorate his office for Halloween too. And then a couple other dollar spot. I picked up one of these candlestick bats. I thought about getting two, but I do have another little like candlestick that I could use. So I just grabbed one. I figured that's all I needed. These were $3 and I just think it's super cute. And then one more pumpkin. I was going to get the pumpkin that was like purple and blue ombre with the bats but then I just decided to go with this fabric with the polka dots so we'll see how this goes with everything else and then I also grabbed this they had two sizes of this they had a taller one and then this shorter one and I kind of like the shorter one it has a spot for a candle in there probably a tea light I don't know if I'd put anything flammable it is metal and then it's kind of glittery or not glittery well kind of glittery inside so I thought that was just kind of a cool touch and a cool little look this is what I was thinking on the mantle and I was thinking about putting like the fairy lights in it that would this come on um instead of like a candle in there and then a couple threshold things I picked up were this little candy dish and I have a tiered tray in mind for this or um just to set it out with some candy in it I mean it could work on my mantle too it'd be cool if it like you know, you could get it to look like a cauldron. But I just thought it was the perfect size. It's like not too big, not too small. It is ceramic. This was, I don't know. I've been looking for a little cauldron like just this size and it has the little imprints for the handles. So I knew I needed to pick this up since I've been on the hunt for one and I just haven't found the one I like. And then I did grab some of these um, cork coasters. They had one that said like, which is something on there and then one that was black with like clouds and a bat or something on there and i just like these um plaid orange and black ones i thought these were the simplest i did almost got the like black like night scene ones they had these out for christmas i want to say they were three for christmas but they were four for halloween but i could be wrong and i really like these because they're like if they fall off the table they're not going to get broke so i wish they would bring these out more because these are just like my favorite coasters which they would bring out just like an everyday one so i could grab some i love these little court coasters and then i also did pick up one of the threshold kind of pumpkins but that was black i want to say this was the medium size and then they had a larger one for 15. i never did see the larger one and i think it was out of stock when i saw it online so i'm hoping this medium works with like everything else i didn't want to have all small things so and i wasn't sure how large the large was but i just love the look of this just so kind of like where it's like I don't know, kind of aged or whatever. So I'm hoping it goes with everything else. And then some things from the Hide and Eek. I love my trees. You know, if you've watched any of my Christmas stuff, I have a thing for trees. And I finally broke down and bought some Halloween trees. They did have um, candy corn ones, but I wasn't really fond of like 
the color. It was really dull and I wanted more vibrant. So I got the mini black ones and then they had kind of the, I would say medium size. And then they had two packs. So I got an orange and a black. So we'll see what I use. Um, I know these will work good on like a tear tray. So we'll see where I use them. Another thing I got from Target is this little positionable skeleton. He's $5 and then they had a $3 one that was a little smaller. He's about twice the size. So the other one must have been really little. My husband's like, um, I want that. And I'm like, no, he's mine. So maybe we'll have to get the hubsy his own little skeleton. But he can like move and it's just cool. His arms, this one doesn't move as much as this one, but whatever. Does his head move? Yeah, a little bit. So I'm planning on sitting him so I don't really need the hangy hook. I could probably pop that off his head, right? Another threshold item I picked up was this wreath. And it's just on a black wire and then it has all this like um, black fern and stuff. And of course, I was gonna hang this, so we'll see how this fits with like the picture and everything else like that. But that's my fault thought right now. So we'll see how it looks. They did have another one I think that was all the way around, but I grabbed this one. So we'll see what I like. And it's a little bit smaller. I wanna say it's only, oh, it is 24. So it is a bigger one. And it has like I can hang it by a strap or a hook. So we'll see how that goes. But that is my thought for the mantle. And then the last piece. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, I'm not like, <laughs> he's just so cute. And for downstairs where nobody's gonna mess with him, there's like little fringe kind of here. And I just couldn't resist. They've had him in the past and I've never really liked these little pillows. They have always had like pumpkins, but he was too cute to pass up. So he is going to find a home downstairs somewhere. Okay, let's do Kirkland's quick. Um, I picked up this Hey Boo sign from Kirkland's. It was just too cute not to grab. I'm thinking this will probably go on my like dough bowl down on my cedar chest because that's kind of like to set things there or on the entertainment stand. And then I have a little, another little thing that I think will look cute with it. And then the other thing I grabbed at Kirkland's was this big sign and this is for the mantle. And I think I'm just gonna lean it up against there. And so it's just super simple. Like these are just wood. You could easily DIY this, I think, cause it's just, you know, black and, but I didn't wanna do that. I didn't wanna mess with it. So I just bought it, but this would be a super easy Kirkland's dupe. So with that Hey Boo sign kind of, the Hey Boo is raised, but you can find letters like that. But this, yeah. So I'm just, this is kind of the spooky kind of centerpiece for the mantle. And then we're going to work around that. So let's do all things Etsy right now. And these are not from the same shop. So the first thing I got was this little guy. It's little Frankenstein and he is like plushy. He has little bolts on the side and like look at his awesome hair. Like, that is so cute. I think there was like a mummy too, but I just grabbed the, the little Frankenstein and he is just too cute. Like, how cute is that? And then the other thing that I was talking about with my Hey Boo sign is this little garland of ghosts. And each of these are wood and they are front and back. The only kind of thing that I have a complaint on is like these aren't like an opaque black. They must be like dyed, but then this black is. So I wish these were the same black as the face, but it's still cute. You can't tell that from far away. And yeah, just this like lined up with that Hey Boo sign, like I'm so excited. And then I did talk about, I got a Halloween garland when I talked about my felt ball Thanksgiving fall garland. So this is called Haunted House and it has the orange, the greens, the purples, and then it has this blue in here. So I was trying to find things to go with that blue and it's so hard. I did see somebody on one of their like shop with me's at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods. There was this like this blue lantern that I think would have been perfect, you know, and it was like a cylinder shape. But of course, the like one time I got down there, they didn't have one at our store, but I was like, I want that. But, so the blue is just kind of be, gonna be there and I'll just kind of use the other oranges and blacks and stuff. So this will be my one pop of blue, my one pop of like of a different color. I thought about getting a fabric and maybe making some pumpkins like this, but I didn't get to that this year. 
So here's the garland for the mantle. And then I also picked up from another felt shop. I got these little eyeballs, these little felt eyeballs. And they do come in different colors. I think I got like a purple, a blue, green, um, and then just kind of a blue. And I think there's a gray one in here. And I got five of them. You could get in packs of like one, two, five, ten, you know, on up or whatever. But she would just sell, I think, one or two. And then I got these little candy corn ones. And they're just like a good size. They're not too small. They're not too big. And I got five little candy canes too. I thought about these more for like tear trays than like my mantle. Those are all the Etsy things I got. My one Dollar Tree thing, I picked up those Dollar Tree witch picks. And I've already been playing with them and I pulled off all the picks. But I got, you know, they come purple, green, and orange. So I thought these were just good for like little chill trays. I've been meaning to get these for like a couple years now and I finally just grabbed them. And then the one thing I got from Amazon was these black candles and they are a little skinnier. I thought I put that in these. Oh, I did. Okay, so they're on, and then it does come with this little remote, so I'm going to turn them on, and then there's like two, four, six, and eight, and you can do candle or light, you can dim it, so it'll kind of flicker, or it won't, kind of brighten here, but you can see that it's kind of on there, and it kind of moves, and then you can make it not move, but I just thought that would be fun for the mantle. I can turn it, there's like a fuzzy on that one. <laughs> I can turn them on and off with the remote and then just put them on a timer. So I looked all over. I like things with the timer or like this has a remote because I forget to turn things on. So if it has a timer, that's, I'm all about that. I wish they made all the fairy lights had timers. I just, that would be 10 times easier. And then you can just schedule it to come on every day and forget about it. The last place I have for you is Michael's. And these I did pick up last year at the end of the season to use for this year and I saw that Target kind of has some but when I was there at Michael's they do have some if not exactly very very similar so I did pick up four and I'm just gonna like put these this is for the mantle obviously so we're gonna have to figure out I thought this would be a good like put the bat picture on one side and then these on the other to kind of balance it out so I gotta find out figure out what like vase or what I want to put these in and then to just up the kind of creepy glam I I got these stick picks and they do have like a little pick on the bottom but they're just all like sequiny glittery so they have been shedding a little bit they've been shedding more the little sequins than like glitter so I don't know but these I thought you could like stick somewhere or even you know in a thing but I was kind of thinking more like you know, kind of coming out of something. So, and I just like the glitterness of it. If I could have like a light, maybe they would kind of sparkle with the glitter. Well, that is everything in my decor haul for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Got to see what fun things are maybe on Etsy or at the other stores. Um, you've probably seen a lot what's at Target and things like that just from, you know, if you watch the Shop With Me videos. So, next videos coming up for Halloween will be tear trays. Um, I got a couple that I want to do. And and then I'm going to decorate the mantle here in the next week or so. So then that'll be the next one. And I'm just decorating the downstairs for Halloween this year. I just... I like my fall upstairs and I just really wanted to focus on the mantle because since I've never got to do that for Halloween so that was kind of my whole plan. So I hope you stick around for those videos. I hope you enjoyed the swing shot in the videos at you the last week or so um that will slow down i will go back to my regular you know two to three a week and i'm thinking about doing a version of vlogtober um i don't think i could vlog every day and edit every day that would be the big thing but maybe do like a weekly vlog or a vlog a week or two vlogs a week or something let me know what you think about that i haven't done a vlog in forever and i do have fun making those for you guys so let me know what you think on that but there's no way i could vlog every day unless you want like a five minute rant of me telling you about my day then i could probably do that so anyways hit that like button subscribe and I will see you in the next one.